Hey internet, it's Jessica and welcome to this reaction discussion video for the second episode of season 4 of The Walking Dead and uh, Telltale just released a new trailer. I've been looking forward to this trailer because uh, I have a theory in mind of like what's happening because of the, all the teasers they have been putting out for the past month and um, hopefully this trailer will open my eyes and like confirm some things that I have, uh, you know, been wondering about. Anyway, you guys know me, I don't normally do reaction videos but I wanted to try something different so please let me know in the comments if you want more reaction videos to like new gameplay trailers and stuff like that or trailers in general just because I want to get new content out on the channel and I would love to have like discussions in the comments with these types of like reaction videos so let me know so I can make more all right let's watch it this cold that settles on my skin it happens right before a storm AJ? there's a baby crying so she's having Sometimes a nightmare I need quiet. <gasps> what is happening brutal return to f oh god Oh no! Am I a murderer? I don't like that sound. I, do I think this is a nightmare sequence. I really don't think that's happening. You die protecting him. A walker you didn't spot. A bullet you couldn't dodge. A desperate cry for help that brings the herd. It happened to Lee, and it'll happen to you. Don't is that fucking me. Lily? Yo! <laughs> Oh shit! No! Okay, hang on one second. There's a lot to unpack here. Let me just uh, rewind for one second. Okay, if I'm gonna- I'm just gonna do a quick like analysis of the trailer. So, a lot of people were like speculating that the teaser image that people put up was like, uh, like a fire and which I think too but I think it's more like it's either like she's having a nightmare because Clementine is known to have nightmares from what AJ said in the last uh gameplay trailer that they put uh she's she used to have nightmares when she was lived on the ranch with AJ and that was pretty common of her to like wake up like panicking and um it would be you know very plausible that she would have nightmares again because of what happened with Marlin and then now AJ shooting Marlin and then now she's finding out like, oh, uh, I'm here with these people. She's probably, she's most likely going to be the leader because that's the description of the game, right? So she's responsible for these people and at the same time, uh, knowing there's a group stalking them, obviously that would give anyone nightmares. So, um, what I also think is kind of like, it's like a premonition in a way. Like, it predicts the future that, like, something will happen v involving fire. AJ calling himself a murderer. And, like, I yeah, our decisions this season is going to, like, shape how AJ is going to be, like, throughout the game and stuff like that. Um, I tried so hard to make him not, like, a, like a brutal person. But if you've seen my Let's Play, I, I failed at that because he's already, like, very brutal, which is not good. And I didn't want him to be that. Um, so I think what, what I think is gonna happen in the second episode, especially with AJ's relationship with the rest of the group, I think Clementine is gonna have to, like, try really hard to convince everyone, like, oh, you know, AJ doesn't understand, you know, morality and, like, having humanity and having a heart and knowing right from wrong because the kid only knows how to survive. That's what he grew up in, right? So I think that's the challenge with AJ and, like, trying to teach him, like, you know, you don't have to kill everybody, you see, even though they're doing something wrong, it's not like a life and death situation, so I think that's what we're gonna have to be doing. But uh, this right here, this screenshot, it, that's why, why I believe it's a dream sequence, is just because how everything is so fucking blurry, and then Clementine is just like, standing there, uh, and she's like clear as day. And I've seen, like, let's take an example from Life is Strange Before the Storm. When Chloe had her dream nightmare sequence in, uh, I think it was the first episode or second episode, where she's in the truck and she sees her dad by the campfire, it's the exact same thing. Everything was, like, blurry, but she was the only thing clear, and, like, it, it didn't make any sense, especially the color scheme, too. It was very vivid in uh, Life is Strange. This one's very vivid, focusing on the red here, but there's still a possibility. Of course, it's just a theory, right? I'm not, like, right or wrong. There's still a possibility that Lily and her gang may just set the school on fire. Lily, though, over here, 
Uh, it was already kind of spoiled because uh, there was a lot of discussion, like, on the Reddit forums and, like, all, all these people discussing The Walking Dead because, uh, people were data mining and I tried so hard to avoid it, but I couldn't. So I already knew that Lily was going to be in, uh, the final season, which is really great because, like, I've been wondering for the longest time, where the hell has she been? Because if you remember in season one, you either just left her on the side of the road or she stole the van later on. There was no confirm of her death. And every time, you know, in, in, in these kind of the games, like, where p characters can die if you don't see a death on camera it's not confirmed that you know they're they're dead another character that we didn't really see but i i'm pretty sure is like dead is krista like that was another character we didn't see got killed like on screen it was kind of like kenny we didn't see him get killed on the season one like we didn't see him we, we saw him like get trapped in uh the the alleyway saving ben if you remember that uh that's the ending i got for kenny in season one uh but we didn't see him actually die and then he came back in season two even though i don't understand how he got out of like the alleyway didn't make any sense uh for lily it makes a lot more sense because like she wasn't in any immediate danger and knowing how you know tough she was she was in uh, she was in the air force i believe right so she was like a bad bitch like honestly she really was so she knew how to take care of herself but her problem was her anger so it won't surprise me if she ends up being the leader of like these raiders and whatever would not surprise me if she ended up being the leader because she's so tough to deal with as a person and um which makes me think like what are they doing with the kids because marlon was trading all the girls of uh their school to these people to leave them alone so what are they doing with the girls like minnie and sophie like what do they want with them i don't understand because like if it was like um people were su suspecting that abel was the leader i really don't think so but um people were just saying oh they're using them as slaves to like do their work and blah 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 but i don't know why i just feel like that's not the case with like lily i feel like lily would come up with something more fucked up just because how badly she turned in in season one like everybody freaked out in season one let's be honest here right an apocalypse happens you don't know how to react and i feel like lily was the worst of them all like, let's ignore her dad larry because larry was just an asshole lily was just like mentally fucked up right away she couldn't like process everything was going what was going on which is why she snapped and killed carly or doug depending who you say it's it kind of her character kind of reminds me of like shane like, from the Walking Dead comics and the TV show, I guess. Uh, that's how I perceive her. She's kind of like Shane in that way, because Shane couldn't handle the fact that the apocalypse was happening, he was in love with uh, Rick's wife, and then Carl, and then all this bullshit, and then he just snapped. So that's kind of like the way I see Lily. She just snapped uh, during the, the first um, you know, beginning of the apocalypse, so I don't know what, like, she has in store for the rest of the gang, but clearly here there's fire, so either she's just holding a torch, like, it's an angry mob, they're gonna light the school, um, or they're just near, like, a campfire or something. There's still a possibility that it will set, like, some part of the school on fire or something like that. But Clementine is gonna have to face her past, pretty much. And the mention of Lee... Good God, I'm I'm gonna cry because every time Lee is mentioned in this game, I get really sad because Lee is like I I think everyone's favorite character from this game. So aside from Clementine, um, so it's gonna be really weird, uh, seeing Lily, and seeing how she's gonna react towards Clementine, which now makes me wonder if they have been watching the boarding school for a long while, because, like, you know, uh, Brody said that they've been, you know, they've encountered this group for a long time, so how long have they been watching them? Do they know, does Lily know that Clementine's already there? Because the way that she's talking to Clementine is acting like she already knows that she's there, so... I'm just, I'm just gonna take a wild guess, and, like, they've been watching for a while, they saw Clementine, and Lily's like, I know that girl, so, you know, I'm a little bit nervous to see what happens. So here, you can see Clementine's, um, lighting here is just orange, so it could in implicate a fire or a light or something like that, but it's most likely a fire, so... Again, it looks like she's in the middle of the courtyard of, of the school, but that's where they have their big campfire there, so it could be from that, I don't really know. Okay! So that was a lot to unpack. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this like little reaction discussion video. Please let me know in the comments what you guys think. Uh, do you think that 
Clementine's nightmare will come true and Lily will actually set the school on fire because she is she is insane, let's be honest here. And are you happy that Lily is back in the story or do you wish it was like a different bad guy? To be honest, I kind of like that it's Lily just because it can kind of wrap up the whole story of Clementine because this is supposed to be the final season for Clementine's story. So it makes sense to have someone from the past come back and like finish it off. Kind of like what they did in the show, you know, when Rick, uh, oh god, what is that guy's name? The, the, the dude with the family from the first season. They brought him back, but they immediately killed him off in the next episode. That was just stupid. That was a waste. They could have had a good storyline, so I'm hoping that, you know, Telltale takes that idea and makes it a lot better and give Clementine a proper end and kind of, like, closure for her past, too, with Lily and on Lee and stuff like that. So, remember it also, since this game, like, takes account of your past decisions in the other seasons oh my god i killed her father i made lee kill larry with like the you know the salt lick thing i i killed him so she's gonna fucking remember that oh my god <laughs> So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am gonna have like an analysis theory video in depth later on Just so like you guys know what I'm talking about. I'll try to have it out sometime this week But uh, if you guys like these reaction videos or discussion videos, please let me know in the comments if you want me to make more Also, be sure to hit the like button subscribe and hit the bell button as well So, you know when I upload my let's play for episode 2 and also my theory video for episode 2 and Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!